Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mark Josie. Today we will be doing a uh, back to old school shooting video. So very exciting, guys. We got back to air guns and airsoft guns instead of just all the paintball and let's leave those stuff. So you know, let's get back to the old school. And today um, I choose to pick one of my favorite air gun um, that I used to very, 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 very like like very much. <laughs> English. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. The Walter CP88 competition. Hey, it's kind of black. Um, okay, so just to make this better to, you know, get it showing on camera, I decided to get my lighting. So usually, you know, people get those camera lights for pro stuff, you know. Uh, I like flashlights. So you see, through night <laughs> TN32. You know what is what this thing is? Look, this is from Head and Shoulder. Uh, whoa, smells like shampoo. Smell that. <laughs> the shampoo, uh, hair recovery, whatever thing. So yeah, you can see right here, right? This hot spot, very, very, very focused. Now with this thing on, totally rocks. Anyway, so let me just put that there. Show. Okay, so there we go. Wow, it's showing nicely. You see? Holy, look at that. Amazing, right? No, that's the trick. Anyway, <laughs> not trying to show you the flashlight, but just take a look at the gun, you know? It's a very nice gun. Fully blued, blued steel, from what I know. Um, yeah, it's a, one of the Umrex top three or four guns. Like, yeah, um, usually they're very pricey too, so about 200 bucks or so. See? Flick open, and there goes the eight rounds, round three, magazine. Now this thing, it's much better than the new BB um, clip that they came up with, which is made of plastic. Now this one is made of aluminum or whatever stuff. It's, it's metal, and um, I think, personally, uh, this, this kind of magazine is like one of the classic magazine, and they are pretty quality made. Instead of just having black plastic magazine that they came up with right now, I think these are much better. Um, but there's a downside to it. It's when you have a lot of them and store them inside a can or something like that, some of them will get kind of deteriorated and they get kind of dull color. So I got a box. Now, by the way, this is my Air Arm magazine. <laughs> so yeah, I put most of my mags here. So, um, just to keep them nice and tidy. I got like 12 or 15 of these. Yeah, got so many guns. <sighs> Ooh, okay. So, basically, some of them did kind of went dull. I'm not sure how you're supposed to polish it up. Um, I was thinking of sanding or soaking them with some kind of chemicals, but nothing really works to shine them up. If you guys have any trick to, like, make them shiny, just tell me on the uh, comment section. Yeah, that would be great. So, yeah, it, it's not as shiny as when it's new, but who cares, right? It's going to stay inside the gun. Anyway, um, one little thing to note about this CP88 is that I upgraded it from the uh, short version with the 4-inch barrel or 4.5-inch barrel. Now, extended to 6-inch. So, I hope I get it right. Yeah. So, now this is the extended barrel with the compensator right here the fake compensator now this gun <clears throat> shoots about like 80 to 100 fps ish harder when you add that little extended barrel and you can really see the um the tip of the barrel right here already see very shiny silverish with the flashlight you can totally see it right okay so it looks pretty good and it feels very heavy in the hand now the grip are not the best kind of grip, but they are plastic. You can you can buy wood grips, I believe. Okay, it just flips out like that when you press the make release on the right side right here. Okay, it goes like that. And uh, these retention clips or whatever you call them, they are for securing the uh, mag pan, or sorry, not mag, the grip panel right here. Now this is where you store the magazine, as you all know. Uh, okay, so everyone knows about that. Um, this mechanism for punching the CO2, it's a nice way to do it, 
But personally, with my experience with the other guns, um, I think that maybe it's because of Crossman CO2. When I start to use Crossman CO2, these things sometimes don't pierce as nice. Um, not really sure why. But with Umrex CO2 or Liz, they work fine. Now this is Umrex CO2. I have Liz brand from Germany before, and I also tried JT brand. JT brand is kind of like, um, JT brand CO2 is kind of low end, so their their CO2 tube feels kind of rough uh, to me by the hand. Yep, when I try to like, uh, sm like feel the body of the CO2. Now these Umrex ones, they're nicely polished, uh, very very um, smooth when you feel the CO2. Yeah, and usually the Umrex brand ones uh, pierce nicer, so the hole on the CO2 tip is bigger. Now, somehow the Crossman ones, I don't know why they don't work so well on these things. Well, usually the Crossman used to be the classic brand, right? So not really sure why the uh, their CO2 don't work so well with this kind of mechanism. Maybe yours works better, but I got like this CP, uh, CP-88, and I got the 1911, I got the uh, Beretta 92FS, and also the Smith & Wesson uh, 8, uh, sorry, 586, five yeah. So, all of them don't work super well with Crossman CO2. I have no idea why, but they all pierce the CO2 almost the same way with this thing. So, let's uh, drop some stuff in and test it out, okay? So let's load the CO2 and give it a little bit of time to uh, kind of settle in. So we got Pelgan oil here. And by the way, this is like my, I don't know how many times I shot this gun, but for sure it's under um, 50 CO2. I have not shot this gun a lot. Uh, one reason is because I got a, too much guns. And the second reason is because it's kind of, quiet it doesn't give me the bang i want so it's nice for the accuracy and also how it's built but it's not so loud so it doesn't excite me a lot but it used to be my favorite gun because of the accuracy so let's see if it still does the same okay <clears throat> there we go tighten this screw the brass screw tighten that up and snap there we go it should work okay now let's put the grip back on and make sure the safety is on as well. Here's the safety right here. Okay. Put the, put the grip back. Now putting the grip back is tricky when you try to put it while facing the camera. Okay, there you go. Nice. Okay, so today we will be shooting some better pellets to really test this thing out. And of course, to really test out the pistol, we need some nice target for the camera. So let's try these. These, um, they're expensive, they're pricey, but they they are worth the money. Let's, let me tell you, okay? This is my MRE box. Uh, anyway, let's put that on here. Lots of distraction around. <laughs> okay, so it's a spaghetti with beef sauce. Wow. Okay, anyway. So let's put this over to the uh, target. And by the way, let me show you my target trap today. Let my button target trap my air gun trap um i got some nice mod to it let's check it out okay uh, as you can see it's pretty dark but we got this flashlight here this is the through night forgot whatever number but yeah through night flashlight wow so bright Ta -da. okay so there it goes the target is lit up now let's try this this is the claris ar10 Wow, super bright. Now you see how cool this, this thing is right now, hey? Um, yeah, it does look kind of too uh, bright, but that's the camera's issue. Let me just tone down the camera and you can see it. Wow, okay, so look at that. The auto. You see, I'm changing the white balance and now it looks superb, you see? How cool. Okay, so. Okay, guys, let's uh, go up and search for pellets. Ugh! Oh my, look at that. This is my little storage for pellets. Where is the pellets? Okay, so, oh, by the way, this is good stuff. Um, 
yeah, it's 12 gram CO2. We have quick disconnect right here. You can put that onto some guns and really sh Oh, there goes the pellet. Look at that. Oh, mine. Okay, guys, so we'll be shooting this uh, R10 match grade pellet. Let's see how it does. Somehow, I found the lightweight version inside the heavyweight 8.2 grains box. That, that's kind of weird. Okay, this is 8.2 grains, but right here it's a 7.0, 7 grains, okay, 7 grains. Now, these pellets are match grade pellets. They are stored individually inside. It's very pricey, but let's check it out. Okay, guys, we loaded four mags right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Four mags, okay, just good. So used up my uh, leftover pellets. And uh, so let's test them out with the CP88. Okay, guys, we are at this uh, 25 feet right now. Let's try to shoot the CP88. And let's go. Double action. Wow, very impressive. One meg, the group is all here. 25 feet, that's not bad. Okay guys, second meg. Uh, well, obviously the sticker doesn't work, so basically we are still grouping within the target range, so that's pretty nice. And uh, you can see the, the, the grouping is pretty much all here, so let's change a piece of sticker. Okay guys, third meg, um, just a little report here. From the sound, uh, the gun seems to be a little tiny bit weaker. I'm not sure why, but... It is a tiny bit weaker right now. Third meg. Now after shooting a little bit more, now this is kind of impressive. This one is accident, but the other ones grouped very well. You can see right here, two fingers. Wow, nice grouping. Now let's uh, finish off with our last name. Wow, as you can see, the grouping really does stay. And two fingers width of grouping. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> amazing. Wow, guys, isn't that amazing? After shooting this thing, I will totally say that air guns have uh, its own kind of fun or joy, or whatever you call that. It's, it's very amazing. Look at that. Super tiny groupings. And we have been firing how many shots? Two mags, 16 shots, tiny groupings, and not to forget the uh, first two mags uh, were quite impressive as well. This gun has not been shot for a long time. And it still performs pretty much like new today. Wow, amazing. Now these, <laughs> I must say that the, the mags are not very realistic when I'm handling them, but when you're shooting them, um, I don't know how to explain that feeling. It gives you a very nice um, feel with the weight of the gun and the shape of the gun. Everything feels super realistic. 
it's just lacking the kind of blowback and loud bang, but it, it does give you the realism, actually. Um, compared to handling airsoft blowback guns, the blowback guns are uh, more realistic in operation, but sometimes uh, they are not really like as heavy as like these things. The, this one is really heavy. So you really feel the serious vibe with this gun. I, I am pretty impressed. Um, okay, so my conclusion today after not shooting these guns for a long time, I will say that this gun is pretty, pretty fun, but um, it it's kind of to the quiet side. So I would like to try another gun that is a little bit louder maybe will uh, make me more happy. I'm used to the, you know, the paintball high power stuff right now. So it's kind of, you know, I have to adjust myself back to the air gun vibe. So the thing is more to the quiet side as compared to the other stuff. Maybe if I shoot like the Umarex Steel Force or something like that, it may get a little bit better with the sound. But so far, um, I find that, you know, uh, it's kind of weird. You know, when I, when I shoot the thing and the target, does not really like shake up and bounce and stuff like that. It's not so reactive, but then it's a target shooter. So yeah, focusing on the bullseyes and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of tricky though, when you try to like really shoot, uh, you want to get a super tight grouping like this one. It, it, it is tricky. It requires a lot of skills to really, really hold your aim right. Instead of, you know, when I'm shooting the, the uh, paintball guns, they just bang, 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 and everywhere is destroyed, right? But this one, it takes a lot of skills to aim and do tight groupings. I'm sure I'll get better later on. So, yeah, we'll see you guys again soon, and let's try other guns out. So just to get back to the old school air gun vibe, okay? Very hot today. <laughs> Bye! Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye!